Good morning, fellow Democrats. To John Burden and our distinguished executive team, thank you for keeping California blue. Give yourselves a round of applause. With over 35 years of experience in taxation, and as the first African American to be elected to the Board of Equalization, I have come to understand the term equalization. This year, we have equalized employment opportunities for minorities who attend colleges on the east side so that they can elevate to the high rises on the west side. Our top executive officer is a skillful, experienced woman who helped us administer the collection of over $51 billion for schools, public safety, and badly needed services. However, fellow Democrats, not since the days of Al Capone has organized crime been able to set up phony businesses and steal billions of our tax dollars to fund criminal activities from terrorism to human trafficking. But with the support of our sister agencies, we are revoking their get out of jail free card, canceling their passport to the Cayman Islands, and prosecuting them for tax fraud. Taking billions of illegal contraband off our streets, including cigarettes, drugs, and guns. Why? Because I've seen gun violence firsthand, where a gang member takes a gun and he points it into a crowd and he misses his target. And the bullet from the gun that allegedly doesn't kill finds his way into the heart of a young girl named for Sophia against her will. And I say to you, fellow Democrats, we need gun control and we need it now. The Board of Equalization took on the fight against human traffickers who would force children to work in the sweatshops of LA as indentured slaves, and their, their adult parents to work on the streets of San Francisco as prostitutes. Using the tax laws, we were able to free the children of Miss Garcia from the depths of despair of hell, forcing her captures into the bondage of jail. We equalize property tax rates for the LGBT community because we can do more. We set up hearings in West Hollywood to help the LGBT community file the protective tax reform claims in anticipation of the elimination of the Defensive Marriage Act. Why? Because I've seen the negative impact that the inequality in marriage has on children raised in love. We also took on the underground economy, which, which saw tax evasion as a way to destroy unions. Because collective bargaining rights and the right to form a more perfect union is central to the building blocks of a strong economy. Where a poor boy from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, like myself, can grow up to be the first African American in history to serve on the Board of Equalization. Or, fellow Democrats, where a young girl named Hillary, born in Chicago, Illinois, can grow up to be Secretary of State and even President of these United States. My fellow Democrats, America has great promise. We are the keepers of the American promise of freedom and equity for all, understanding that it is not the distance we travel that will measure the progress of our country, but rather it is the direction we go that will determine the character of our nation. So let us continue to fight for armed control throughout the world because we still live in an age of weapons of mass destruction with the capacity of total annihilation of the human race. And we have a right to fight for peace in Korea and the Middle East. 
Let us join with John Burton and our party leadership in support of DEM 2014, uniting our diversities and consolidating our commonalities to advance the democratic values that gave a woman the right to choose, the union the right to organize, and the teachers the right to teach. <laughs> Lastly, my fellow Democrats, let us pledge that we will stand together one day longer than those who stand against us. Please stand and give yourselves a round of applause and turn to your neighbor and repeat after me, if you will. I will stand one day longer than those who stand against us. God bless America. God bless the Democratic Party and each of you.